Hey, Steve's in the game. How you doing, my dude? So this is part of the Minecraft mod. Minecraft mod adds two extra characters, Steve and Enderman, as well as a bunch of new pickups and mechanics, and I've, I don't see too many people talking about this one, so I thought I'd give it a shot. That's just straight up zombies. How you doing? Can I cure that villager? Is he forever gone? So Steve starts with a little bit less than uh, base speed. I believe a little bit less than base tiers. It definitely feels like it. 2.50 is a slightly less, but he does start with 4 base damage, so I'd say the DPS evens out, right? Starts with Notched Axe, obviously, as well as a new passive item called the Crafting Table. Let me take this uh, Nod Leaf and move on. Crafting Table is interesting, it just has a very basic property of making it so every time you take up a, a, like a pickup, a coin, a bomb, you know, etc. A 25% chance to duplicate it, just spawn another one. Let's go to the library, maybe land ourselves a bookworm, definitely not the case, but you know, at least I know where the boss is. Are you guys Minecraft Steve beard enjoyers or smile enjoyers? Because the way I've always seen Steve, even though I'm pretty sure canonically it's literally a beard, I've always seen it as a smile. Little horn should be no problem. A very basic fight here. We'll just get it done. We're done for. Nice. HP will definitely go down for for more stuffs. Zack room above me. We will see if I want to do that because I could get myself an angel for this floor. An immediate treasure room as well. Hello. How to jump. Uh, bookworm progress is not enough. I would rather go blind. I mean, what if that's a magic mushroom? It's Hushy. It's the best item in the game. Now on top of the extra characters that they've added with this mod, there's also like a, a few new mechanics that are super interesting. They've added things such as villagers and enchanting tables and ores as well. Enchanting tables, I believe off the top of my head, have a 10% chance to respawn or I guess replace a slot machine that you can find. So we were going to find as many arcades as possible, so maybe we can find one. There's also villagers with, again, I believe a 12.5% chance to replace shopkeepers, which is why when you saw I beat that zombie villager earlier, uh, he just turned into a keeper. I believe they exchange items, which makes sense in the lore, right? You exchange emeralds for that stuff, as well as ores. Ores are the coolest part, in my opinion. Opinion. It's kind of like Fool's Gold how sometimes, uh, just very rarely, some rocks will be replaced. Except this time, they'll be replaced with ores. Ores will just show you exactly what they have inside, you know, diamonds, gold, or what, what, what not. When you explode them and mine them, actually, uh, they drop their specific items. You know, if you find a diamond ore, you'll drop the diamond item. And all items give their own respective little buffs. Oh. So diamonds, you know, they just give you full-on damage. If you find gold, I believe it gives you a speed up. It's supposed to make sense, and it does. There you go. No deal, because I got got hit and I'm a bozo. Let's go to the secret room maybe and then we'll leave. Nice. Oh, oh, it's a villager. Look at him. His head is so huge. <sighs> also, I got mega mushroom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. It fades in. Okay, I'm gonna give away my damage up. That is not even close to what that item is. I'm gonna give away my HP up for a redstone torch. I'm assuming that's a passive item that I've never seen before. It's new, so I gotta do it. Redstone torch. It spawns a familiar that follows Isaac and blocks projectiles, and it fires tech tiers in the direction of the projectile. Oh, cool. It's kind of like a uh, makeshift bot fly, I suppose, except it is a little bit more offensive. Now, do we want mega mushroom? Do I give up the thematics for being OP? I think I don't, however, I'll run around and destroy things, I guess. Right, I mean, like, running around with Mega Mushroom just wouldn't make too much sense to me. It doesn't seem like it'd be that fun. So instead, I will literally just crush everything, and then I think we're good to go to the next floor. Dross 2. Haven't found an arcade yet, but we're gonna keep an eye out because we want to spawn as many slots as possible and give us the highest potential possible to see any enchanting tables. That way we can enchant ourselves and see what kind of cool buffs we can land. I'm gonna use a sun card here just to reveal everything. It's pretty useful on Dross 2. Why are there two secret rooms? Oh, dude. Well, would you believe if you figured out what the trinket does, then he'd know why. Cool stuff. We actually get a free boss challenge room from that secret room. Let's check this one out real quick. Uh, this one is pretty useful also, actually. Maybe even 8 cents total? Wow, I'm rich. Mom's purse, you know what, we'll definitely take this. And then, if I can, uh, we'll try and reroll even more. Hello? D7. What's with all the actives? Uh, no, no, no. Bomber Boy's a good item, thank you. Oh, there you go, you can see the, uh, the redstone torch going crazy. It's blocking projectiles and actually firing back. Very cool. And done. We definitely get a deal here. Oh, nice damage up. And... Wow, it's a box! Is that a shulker box? What does a shulker box do? If two or more pickups are in a room, it will remove said pickups and place a chest down. Huh. 
does not remove chest nor item pedestal. You know what? I mean, it's a new item. Sure. Okay. A new devil item too. So I need to find two pickups in a room and then I just exchange it for a, a chest, I guess. Wow, that is awesome. Whoa, that was actually really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Let's reroll this maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take those items. I'm gonna have to take you in champion's belt. Plus this, maybe a good reverse. A reverse sun is okay. I basically just consider it on flight. On flight. On command flight. We got this guy, thanks for the tears up, and then we'll go Mirror Dimension and clear out. Feeling a lot better about this run immediately. We just got some really good stats, plus a cool new item. Uh, pill? Health up, that's good to know. What about in here? Oh, there's a villager. Hey, it's good that I came in here. You want to trade the blue candle, which I literally do not own. Oh no, you want to trade my- Oh wait, that's sick! Hold on, my mind just got blown. The attention to detail. It's going from right to left because we're in the mirror dimension. That is nuts. Also, a terrible deal. What is wrong with you? Get out of here. Another Rainmaker done. Another old bandage received. Thank you very much. Let's go. We haven't found any ores yet. I'm gonna keep my eye out. I mean, you really can't miss them. And you know, if I can't find them, maybe I'll show you guys just after anyway. Guess what happened? <laughs> So throughout the entire run, I literally didn't find a single ore. These are the actual items you get out of the ores. I'll just show off the items, but the ores have a small chance to replace rocks, but these are the items that you're going to get out of them. We got gold, which is a speed up. That makes sense. Gold uh, pickaxes and tools are much faster. Emerald is a small tears up. Coal is a range up, which is funny because <laughs> I love the coal. That's probably the smartest thing they could have done. Diamond is just a fat damage up, a literal curved horn damage up. Thank you. Quartz is interesting here. It actually spawns two black hearts or I just maybe just gives it to you. Iron is a shot speed up. Absolutely an L item. One of the worst ones out there. And these two last ones are a little bit more unique. Lapis increases the chance for enchanting tables to replace regular slot machines. So you'll see more enchanting tables. And redstone spawns goop below tiers that deals damage to enemies on the ground. Is goop just like creep? Oh, yeah, it's basically creep. Cool. It's actually been a bit since I played Minecraft. I've been thinking about doing another world for a bit now. My fondest memories of playing uh, Minecraft and experiencing it for the first time was probably watching the Yogg's cast do their uh, Shadow of Israfel series and then afterwards, or maybe it was before, I'm not sure, but the how I watched it was Shadow of Israfel and then the Jaffa Cake Factory. Tekkit series was insane. Afterwards, I always played Tekkit Minecraft. It was the best thing ever. And, and not like new Tekkit with like the spaceships and stuff. I was always like a fan of the Tekkit classic. It seems our speed is definitely hindering us uh, at the, this point. We're gonna need to press W twice here and start sprinting, Steve. You're being a little bit slow. Where's my potion of swiftness? I actually do believe there are potions in here. I, I don't think we found any yet, but they, there can be potions that give you small buffs, which is awesome. We got a ladder to our right, but I see a more juicy donation machine plus reverse card play. Oh yeah, that's strength. I might just use this. We'll grab the ladder as well. Uh, and then, you know what, just cause it's fun, how about I do this, take this, and then shulker box this into a chest and get bombs. Hey, that was effective. Tons of red hearts today as well. This is like straight up a Minecraft run. I better, I, at this point, I'm going to specifically not pick up soul hearts so I could just compare and contrast the Minecraft hearts with the Isaac ones. I have not been hit, luckily, somehow, by miracle. I might just go fight the boss. I don't wanna lose this nice deal chance. Just kidding. Super secret room. How about I do something like this, spawn two coins, and then use the shulker box? I just want to use the shulker box to be honest with you, it's really fun. Puberty again, yeah, alright, I'll go through it a second time. Oh my lord. Well, just imagine this is gold. <laughs> that is a lot. Hey, what happens if I use the shulker box in a room with a bajillion pickups? Oh, wow. Should I figure it out? Should I just test it? I think I should. Let's get more coins, because there's a couple fools gold left. Let's take this, we'll take damage, whatever. Old bandage proct, that's sick. Uh, what happens? Boom. Ah, you can only do two at a time, I see. We have a vault over here. It definitely seems like because of uh, the crafting table's passive ability, it's pretty hard for Steve to not have a bunch of pickups, which is always fun in a character. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'll take this and choker box again, get another chest. I literally just gave myself money. Plus crafting table is just procking multiple times. I'm about to have like 50 cents from this one room alone. Treasure. I kind of want my reflection. Hello. Uh, much better than the chemical peel as well, right? Just more consistent damage overall. I'll lose my soul heart. I don't care. I'm digging this. Oh, should I do this? <laughs> Goodbye, Hushy. I'm sorry. Judas's shadow. Well, talk about karma. All right. 
I will die at the very end just to give us some more uh, extra damage, right? But for now, I do want to run Steve because the crafting table passive seems nuts. Oh, whoa, look at that. The redstone torch actually takes synergies from you. We have the uh, technology my reflection synergy from redstone torch. It's doing it. Very interesting. That probably means, you know, if we get 20-20 or something, it'll start shooting uh, multiple different tiers. Anyway, clutch fight's done. We get another HP up. We cannot stop doing it. Nice. Library. This is, this is, this has to be bookworm, right? More fool's gold just sounds like more shulker boxes to me. Gimme, gimme. Thank you for the key. And this should be bookworm. Good transformation. Nice. I should keep in mind as well that, you know, since we don't have notched axe anymore and we cannot technically mine ores, I gotta make sure I have bombs available as if I have TNTs and I'm, I'm, I'm explosive mining because I cannot crack that ore open without it. Seems this character cannot stop getting money is what I've realized. <laughs> This character is constantaneously rich as hell. Bro is loaded on all accounts. Every single emerald ever. Wait a minute, wasn't here. Oh, it's literally TNT! Explodes upon taking damage. Uh, creepers can drop this item. The formula is whatever the hell that is. That's a passive then? I just explode when I take damage? Okay, cool. Yoink, I'll take it. I mean, it's the Minecraft item. I don't care about anything else, right? Wow, we actually came across a lot of extra items today. Give me this shulker box play. I got a bomb from doing it. The bomb goes into here. It gives me uh, the best item ever known. Justice. More bombs. You've never seen a bigger Isaac play in your life. God damn it. Was in here. Another, it's a crafting table too? Does it, does it like stack? I don't, uh, gimme, gimme. I now have a 50% chance. I'm not going to pretend like that's actually how it works, but it would be kind of funny. I've seen this room before. Reap creep should be fine. I mean, this is probably the easiest mines boss that you can lab. And whenever I find reap creep, I'm pretty happy. Wait, oh my god. Whoa, redstone torch is broken. I did not know redstone torch blocks projectiles and fired back that fast. I thought there was like a cooldown or something, right? I'm gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna try and abuse Redstone Torch and push it to its limit. For now, we get Squeezy. We already went to the treasure room, we went to the shop. I don't care about too much else. Let's go down here. Where are the ores, man? I'm trying to mine. Maybe even craft if I felt like it. Stars card, we go over. Uh, Mom's wig, we haven't found any enchanting tables yet. You know, it's probably a good thing, if anything. We have not reached level 30 yet, and it's just a complete bozo move to do anything otherwise. Well, here's an arcade. It's a bedroom. <laughs> of all the things, I really could not have imagined you. Steve looks weird with a wig, I'm not even gonna lie. Head of the keeper? I was looking away. Thank you. We have Mom's purse that we got really early on. So we'll take the gilded key because we are fine on pickups. Haven't been hit yet. I'm really trying. I might be able to land myself a devil as long as I don't blunder. All right, we're good. We might be able to do this. Hold on. It is mom, but I have a memory card shop. Hold on. I must take advantage, right? We also got a little bit of a uh, soul heart, so I'm feeling better. Nice money. Uh, yeah, I got to take that straight up. Let's take you, and then we can roll a bit more. I don't know if anything else cool is gonna show up. That's fine. Don't need it though. I don't need void, thanks. Maybe blow it up. Ah, no, that's okay. We're good. Here's the secret room I missed. Another villager. I like seeing these guys, dude. It makes me excited. It's like, hey, what do you got? What are you selling? You want? Oh, you want to take an HP up for an Ender Pearl? That's a good deal. Thank you. What does this do? Teleports you to the symmetric position from the room center. Enderman can drop this. I can fight Enderman? So how does this work? Is it like stitches, I guess? Oh, wow. Wait, oh, this is broken. You can just spam it? Ooh! Well, I am going to keep the shulker box because the shulker box seems broken in my opinion. Being able to conjure up a chest from two pickups seems nasty when I bring that to the chest slash dark room. But hey, that's a cool item. Hello, devil room. Hello, um, the negative. <laughs> Krampus, you aren't supposed to be here. I guess you technically are, but get out of here. Pull, please? Hell, I hate you. All right, well, uh, goodbye. Ow. Hey, it's spun. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just take it. I got nothing else to do. Finally feeling a little bit tiny better about our speed. Steve starting with 0.90 speed and no speed ups for the entire rest of the run is pretty rough. Oh hey, dude, what the hell? Get out of- Wither Skeletons! Get out of here, they move so erratically. There are new enemies as well, so it's kind of freaking to just see that randomly. And also just straight up pigmen. hello, get away. They hoard you like crazy. Pretty simple to kill though, that's cool. 
give me this chest, and then I'll check for a super secret room. We do want to stack up money because of money equals power, right? Hey, nice. When you, wow, okay, crafting table is literally broken, and then we'll fight the boss. 0.2 double chance, I actually hit these. Could you imagine what would have happened? Arcade, you gonna give me an enchanting table? Damn it, okay. Oh my god, I killed him. <laughs> wait, that, wait, I just realized, you I cannot play like blood banks or anything when you have TNT, you just... Well, never mind, you can. Yeah, that just, just that guy. That guy doesn't get to. That guy's dead forever. Blood banks, though, I mean, they're cool. Secret room. Another reverse card triggers a random dice effect. You're gonna give me a reverse wheel of fortune, huh? Well, it's only appropriate that I use this on the last floor. We might be able to get a roll on our uh, floor and do it again. Or maybe we just, I don't know, land the craziest re-roll of my life. If he does drop eternal d6, I'm taking it. Ah, oh, nothing. Okay. Well, thanks for the chest. Oh, that's just straight up continuum. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're just so casually placed. Thank you. What are those? My lord, get away. I've angered the horde. They're after me. Let's see. So I wanted to do something cool here. There is one move that it lives does where she just shoots you constantly over and over and over again. I want to abuse that with the redstone torch and see if I can get her to just like hit herself over and over because that would be really cool. I'm gonna lose some deal chance here but I think this is just way more fun. I want to do this. Not this one. Oh, it is this one. Oh, look at it go. Woo! Ooh, nice. That was sick. Good job, redstone torch. We also got the deal. You can't make this up. That's sick. Now there's brimstone. Wow, those are actually good. Uh, not too good, but still nice. Actually, I've just given it a little bit extra thought and I realize these items suck in this context. Goodbye. My consensus on Steve as a character is that oh, what the hell? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, crafting table is broken. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we're in the shoal area now. This place is a little bit scary, but our build is so strong and our health is literally godly. Oh, there are endermen. Whoa, these enemies look weird and cool. What? Okay, when I shoot them, they become aggro, just like uh, actual in-game, and they start TPing around. So you definitely don't want to all anger them all at one point. That would be a terrible thing. That's why I'm going to do it right now. Oh, wow, a soul of Cain. You're going to make me look for an ultra, huh? Okay, all right, I'll bite. I, I think it actually just could be straight up here. Hold on. Well, I got a treasure room, so I don't really care what happens anymore. Hey, Thunder Thighs. Should I just commit? Maybe get 11 hearts? Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, shaka ding ding. Do da da do, give me this chest, yeah. This chest gave me keys and two bombs. What? I excuse me? Oh, they're shulkers. <laughs> I was very confused for a second. Do these actually follow you around? Whoa, look at that. They home in towards you just like actually like in game. That's sick. It seems like they have very similar mechanics to uh, hosts as well, where they can only get hit while popping up. Now being low HP and all, it probably isn't the best decision on earth to maybe go for this curse room. But best decisions aren't what I roll upon. I roll upon what would be the coolest thing. I like imagine if I TP to a devil instead that I'd like to fight two little horns today, please. Limited time offer. Mega chest while I have golden keys? Uh, yeah? Boom. Oh, sorry, I missed. Boom. Whoops, it wasn't even ready. Boom. Seems we found ourselves with a wiggle worm, a couple pickups, a world card. It showed us the other secret room. I should go back and get that real quick. Full health? Nothing ever matters. Lord almighty. No punishment ever. <laughs> Another villager. Son, we got a ton of these villagers today. I'm actually really happy about it. Uh, we can exchange Binky for Evil Charm. Now, is this really worth it? No. Can I see what happens when I blow this guy up? It's probably just Keeper Drops. Yeah, it's Keeper Drops. He dropped two coins. Bye! I just committed murder. Okay, we got our boss here. I am gonna do the bomb trick. Two, three. I don't stop watch. Do I? No, we get four. Ah! I was way too late. I spent way too much time pondering and thinking. Get to work. And the next floor is the one that we're going to be really excited for, right? Because that's when, we, whenever we get any kind of pickups, two in one room, that's literally an item. That's the big place we're waiting for. All right, let's go. Let's have a good time. I'm expecting big things from you. I am expecting, God damn it, blind. Gilded Key makes it so these are chest items, not even devil items, but sure. Oh! You really think we can go a single video without a quality four? You're insane. That's on you. Cosmic balance must always be kept, and one thing must never change. There was no other option. What makes you small? Let's keep that in there. Maybe we find a card or something, and we can put it in there and combine it into a chest. Or rather, we could put it in a, in a room that has like a coin like this, right? Still blind, so I'm just gonna take everything. Give me another item. Oh, this is gonna be so hype. Midas is touched. That's basically just straight up golden good. With Head of the Keeper, I am pretty sure I'm going to be spawning way too many pickups. 
more than I can keep track of. Shulker Box will be on standby rather than anything. Ultra Moon? Ultra Secret? Ultra Sacred Heart. That's actually just a good item. Thank you. Another chest. Yeah, basically as it stands, oh, there's no way in hell I don't manage to like get enough pickups. It's more along the lines of <laughs> will Shulker Box be able to be charged up in time fast enough? Because this thing is going to spawn so many items, dead eye. Oh my god, it's happening. I like that it TPs towards you as well. Blaze Rod, touch my stick. Wait, excuse me? Excuse you, sir. I, take me out to dinner first. What am I shooting? What did I just do? What did I come across? What is this item? Jacob's Ladder, make them electrified. I'm shooting Blaze Rods. And when they come next to me, they don't disappear. They just start slowly floating towards me. Do they have infinite range? Excuse me? That's broken? Imagine lump of coal with this thing? Is there a limit to how many I can have on screen? I will crash if there is no limit. Oh my god, I'm gonna crash. Should I just do it? Just hold down the button? I'm gonna do it for like a minute. Okay, I'm assuming that I can't spawn anymore. Nope, I definitely can. I'm lagging. We have to despawn them. I have infinite, like, range something. Uh, it does inflict burning. We can see that, right? That makes more sense as to, like, what it, the item is supposed to actually do. We can actually just drop the stars card right here and then go boom. Hey, free item. Look at that. Blinger bean. Can't believe I nabbed myself a 2020 as well. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Thank you. I basically struggled long enough with the build. Despite sitting at only one luck, no Guppy's Tail, no nothing, it really does feel like I'm running perfection Guppy's Tail right now. Just because the Shulker Box and the way I'm abusing it is just destroying the game. I'm able to get an item every two rooms just for free, just by existing. Here's another one. Hey, it's Tractor Beam. We're now at maximum tier rate plus whatever Blaze Rods I'm shooting. Demon Baby, if I can manage to find Conjoined as well, I, this will be completely over. Let's use you, get another item. Mind, good to know, I can count out my rerolls now. And then take you, roll this again. Cool, tech two, nice. This run turned crazy towards the very end and I'm very happy about it. Not to mention we got a lot of unique items today. That's a lot of skeletons. I don't think we saw any ores, but I'll just come in later or I guess earlier. I probably already did. <laughs> just show you guys what the ores look like. We're missing one charge and we haven't found our secret rooms yet. So let's just go get our secret rooms, get our final charge. Probably just give ourselves one more shulker box chest. Uh, and then we should be good to go. Unless I can land a cell like a magic mushroom, just crazily, like in the most insane way possible. Not happening. Okay, that's fair. Oh! I spawned something. If you can't tell, it's probably because there's 7 billion blaze rods on the floor. Is this the magic mushroom of- uh, of- oh! It was so worth it. Every- every bit of seconds that you put in to just doing that one little extra thing. Never give up. I'm shooting goddamn blaze rods, lamb. What do you have? You got nothing in your arsenal. What? What is that? They brought in the ender dragon? <laughs> oh my god, it's flying everywhere. Kill it. Give me every bit of XP possible. I end off with the metronome that gives me death certificate. It's actually chubby. I, there's a loud sound going on. That's the ender dragon death sound. GG.